Uh, I'm used to police department ladies. I've got bikers here. I'm trying to have to start a mass. St. Aidan's 4911 Meredith Drive. And they're blocking the parking lot. I guess, yeah, they're setting up a party right out here in the parking lot. My people can't, my people can't come in. Father Brad Johnson. You don't have your mask? Why don't they wear scrubs? Yeah, yeah, that's what I said, yes. Mm -hmm. They've got the cars diagonally placed uh, right in the, to, near the entrance. There are bikes and cars, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Absolutely not. No, no. They came, they came roaring through here. Now, can we do something about it? Please do. 515-270-8860. I'm sorry, what? No, I have not. No. No. No, I'm not. No. All right, it's very important because I'm people I know want to get in here and uh Okay. Send someone as soon as they could. They yeah. send right up, right? They send someone as soon as they could. I expect the annual can get in here. So. We can't right now. Here's some. I should go out and talk to them? I don't know who they are. Well, no, but I just think it's okay to party here. Hello? You got private property here. I'm trying to have a church service. Appreciate it. Yeah. 
the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. O God, to the honor of God. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Amen. I confess, God Almighty, blessed Mary, our Virgin, blessed Michael, the Archangel, the blessed John the Baptist, the Holy Apostle Peter and Paul, to all the saints and you, brethren, that I've sinned exceedingly in thought, for indeed, by my fault, by my own fault, by my almost freedom's fault, Wherefore I beg, blessed Mary, the Virgin, blessed Michael the Archangel, blessed John the Baptist, the Holy Apostle Peter and Paul, all saints and you, brethren, pray for me, the Lord our God. Almighty God, have mercy upon us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant us our pardon, absolution, and remission of all our sins. Amen. Well, let us turn again, quicken us, O oh God. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us. Lord, hear my prayer. The Lord be with you. Let's pray. Almighty God, unto whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, bless the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love thee and worthily magnify thy holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord was my refuge and my upholder, and he brought me forth into a place of liberty. He delivered me because he delighted in me. I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my Savior. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, for all of them. The Lord was my refuge and my upholder, and he brought me forth into a place of liberty. He delivered me because he delighted in me. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Glory be to God on high, and on earth, peace, good will towards men. We praise thee, we bless thee, we worship thee, we glorify thee. We give thanks to thee for thy great glory. O Lord God, heavenly King, God the Father Almighty. O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. O Lord God, the Lamb of God, Son of the Father, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. Thou that takest away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. Thou that sinnest in the right hand of God the Father, have mercy upon us. For thou only art holy, thou only art the Lord, thou only, O Christ, the Holy Ghost, art most high in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. O Lord, who never fails to help and govern those whom thou dost bring up in, in thy steadfast fear and love, keep us, we beseech thee, under the protection of thy good providence, and make us to have a perpetual fear and love of thy holy name. Through Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, who liveth and reigns with thee in the unity of the Holy Spirit, ever one God, world without end. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> the lesson from the first letter of John. <clears throat> Marvel not, my brethren, that the world hates you. We know that we have passed from death into life because we love the brethren. He that loveth not his brother abideth in death. Whosoever hateth his brother is a murderer, and ye know that no murderer hath eternal life abiding in him. Hereby perceive we the love of God, because he laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. But whoso hath this world's good, and seeth his brother have need, and shutteth up his bowels of compassion from him, how dwelt the love of God in him. My little children, let us not love in word, neither in tongue, but in deed and in truth. And hereby we know that we are of the truth, and shall assure our hearts before him. For if our heart condemn us, God is greater than our heart, and knoweth all things. Beloved, if our heart condemn us not, then have we confidence toward God. And whatsoever we ask, we receive of him, because we keep his commandments, and do those things that are pleasing in his sight. And this is his commandment, we should believe on the name of his Son, Jesus Christ, and love one another, as he gave us commandment. And he that keepeth his commandments dwelleth in him, and he in him. And hereby we know that we abide, that he abideth in us by the Spirit which he hath given us. Here endeth the epistle. <coughs> when I was in trouble, I called upon the Lord, and he heard me. Deliver my soul, O Lord, from lying lips, and from a deceitful tongue. Alleluia, alleluia. O Lord my God, in thee have I put my trust. Save me from all them that persecute me, and deliver me. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And 
continuation of the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to the King of the Lord. A certain man made a great supper and bade many, and sent his servant at supper time to say to them that were bidden, Come, for all things are now ready. And they all with one comment but began to make excuse. The first said, first said unto him, I have bought a piece of ground, and I must needs go and see it. I pray thee, have me excused. And another said, I have bought five yoke of oxen, and I go to prove them. I pray thee, have me excused. And another said, I have married a wife, and therefore I cannot come. So that servant came and showed his Lord these things. Then the master of the house, being angry, said to his servant, Go out quickly into the streets and lanes of the city, and bring in hither the poor, and the maimed, and the halt, and the blind. And the servant said, Lord, it is done as thou hast commanded, and yet there is room. And the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highways and hedges, and compel them to come in, that my house may be filled. For I say unto you, that none of those men which were bidden shall taste of my supper. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise be to the Lord Christ. Where's the Gospel message that we brought about? I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, Almighty maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of his Father before all worlds, God of God, light of light, the very God of very God, begotten not made, being of one substance with the Father by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, and was incarnate by the Holy Ghost of the Virgin Mary, and was made man, and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate, he suffered and was buried, and the third day he rose again according to the scriptures, and ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of the Father. And he shall come again with glory to judge both the quick and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Lord and deliverer of my human life, who proceeded from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spake by the prophets. And I believe one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. And I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Lord be with you. Let us pray. Turn to you, O Lord, and deliver my soul. O save me for thy mercy's sake. Wash my hands among the innocents, so folks and all for Lord. And they say thy grace. Call them on his works. Lord, I'd love to have a place in my house, a place where I want to dwell. Drop my soul to sinners. Sinners will not let him up here. They all walk away. Pray for all kinds of sinners. Pray, brethren, that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord receive the sacrifice of his hands to the praise of glory to all men and women of the Church. Amen. Let us pray for the whole state of Christ's Church. 
Almighty and ever living God, we find thy holy apostle has taught us to make prayers and supplications and to give thanks for all men. We humbly beseech thee most mercifully to accept our oblations and to receive these our prayers which we offer unto thy divine majesty. Beseeching thee to inspire continually the universal church with the spirit of truth, unity, and concord. And grant that all those who do confess thy holy name may agree in the truth of thy holy word and live in unity and godly love. We beseech thee also so to direct and dispose the hearts of all Christian rulers that they may truly and impartially administer justice to the punishment of wickedness and vice and to the maintenance of thy true religion and virtue. Through grace of Heavenly Father, to all bishops and other ministers, that they may both by their life and doctrine set forth thy true and lively word, and rightly and duly administer thy holy sacraments. And to all thy people give thy heavenly grace, and especially to this congrega congregation here present, that with meek heart and due reverence they may hear and receive thy holy word, truly serving thee in holiness and righteousness all the days of their life. And we most humbly beseech you, thy goodness, O Lord, to comfort and succor all those who in this transitory life are in trouble, sorrow, need, sickness, or any other adversity. And we also bless thy holy name for all thy servants departed this life in thy faith and fear, beseeching thee to grant them continual growth in thy love and service, and to give us grace so to follow their good examples, that with them we may be partakers of thy heavenly kingdom. Grant this, O Father, for Jesus Christ's sake, our only mediator and advocate. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks unto our Lord God. His very meat, right, and our bounden duty, that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, everlasting God, for the precious death and merits of thy Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, for the sending to us of the Holy Ghost, the Comforter, who are one with thee in thy eternal Godhead. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify thy glorious name, evermore praising thee and saying, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory be to thee, O Lord most high. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. All glory be to thee, Almighty God, our Heavenly Father. For the thou of thy tender mercy didst give thine only Son, Jesus Christ, who suffered death upon the cross for our redemption, who made there by his one oblation of himself once offered, a full, perfect, and sufficient sacrifice, oblation, and satisfaction for the sins of the whole world, and did institute, and his holy gospel command us to continue a perpetual memory of that his precious death and sacrifice until his coming again. And the night in which he was betrayed, he took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. <clears throat> Likewise, after supper, he took the cup. <clears throat> When he giveth thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of this, for this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Do this as often as ye shall drink it, in remembrance of me. Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, we, thy humble servants, do celebrate and make here before thy divine majesty. With these thy holy gifts, if you now offer unto thee, the memorial thy Son hath commanded us to make, having in remembrance his blessed passion and precious death, his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, rendering unto thee most hearty thanks for the innumerable benefits procured unto us by the same. And most humbly beseech the merciful Father to hear us. And of thy almighty goodness, God save to bless and sanctify with thy word and Holy Spirit these thy gifts and creatures of bread and wine, that we, receiving them according to thy Son, our Savior Jesus Christ's holy institution, in remembrance of his death and passion, 
may be partakers of his most blessed body and blood. And we are to desire thy fatherly goodness, mercifully to accept as our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, most humbly beseeching thee to grant, by the merits and death of thy Son, Jesus Christ, and through faith in his blood, we and all thy whole church may obtain remission of our sins and all other benefits of his passion. And here we offer and present unto thee, O Lord, ourselves, our souls, and bodies, to be a reasonable, holy, and living sacrifice unto thee, humbly beseeching thee, that we and all others who, who shall be partakers of this holy communion may worthily receive the most precious body and blood of thy Son, Jesus Christ, be filled with thy grace and heavenly benediction, and make one body with him, he may dwell in us, and we in him. And although we are unworthy through our manifold sins to offer unto thee any sacrifice, yet we beseech thee to accept as our bounden duty and service, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses, through Jesus Christ our Lord, <clears throat> by whom and with whom, in the unity of the Holy Ghost, all honor and glory be unto thee, O Father Almighty, world without end. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> now as our Savior Christ, the commandment has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> deliver us, we beseech you, Lord, from all evils past, present, and to come. And the intercession of the blessed, glorious, and ever virgin Mary, Mother of God, that of thy blessed apostles, Peter and Paul, and of Andrew and Aidan, and all thy saints, favorably grant peace in our time, that by the help of thy mercy, we may ever be kept free from sin, safe from all disquietude. To the same Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, who with thee in the unity of the Holy Ghost liveth the reign of God, world without end. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with thy spirit. spirit. Lamb of God, that takes away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that takes away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that takes away the sins of the world, grant us thy peace. We do not presume to come to this thy table, O merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in thy manifold and great mercy. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under thy table, but thou art the same Lord who has brought to the instant all of our mercy. Grant us, therefore, gracious Lord, to eat the flesh of thy dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that our sinful bodies may be made clean by his body, and our souls washed with his most precious blood, and we may evermore dwell in him, and he in us. Amen. Receive the bread, then, and call them. 